Hi guys, I'm Nivaldo, founder of Revolutionary Gardens. And I'm Josephine Gray, founder of Lyft, Low Income Families Together. We're here to tell you about our new Oasis model greenhouse. The name is an acronym that stands for Organic Aquaponic Sustainable Integrated System. What this means is, is it's actually a greenhouse within a greenhouse with a two foot wide cavity between the inner and outer structures. This cavity is filled with non-toxic, biodegradable soap bubbles. What this does is it creates a thermal blanket with a high insulated value of R30. It also conveniently doubles as a sunshade in the summertime to keep it from overheating. As most people know, our food security is at risk. The industrial food complex system is part of the problem. It has monoculture, monocrops, uh, pesticides, all kinds of issues that are causing harm to the environment and are causing harm to people's health. There's also climate change, climate chaos, all the problems with trying to grow crops when we are, have unpredictable growing season. So we have been developing this model of a greenhouse as an answer to be able to control the climate, to make sure that we can grow safe, healthy food, to make sure that the water and the air that goes into the food is healthy, so that we can grow food in the city. This innovative, cutting-edge technology has been proven in temperatures ranging from minus 30 to plus 30 degrees Celsius with no crop loss and little or no use of fossil fuels. So let me show you guys the various climate control systems that will be fully automated uh, by uh, programmable logic controllers. Those same logic controllers will actually uh, automate and control the growth systems as well. But what we have here is two very large industrial exhaust fans that will help keep the heat and humidity in check. This, they'll be our first line of defense in overheating in the summertime. Our second line of defense, and what makes this design unique, is a bubble uh, shape that's generated by industrial air blowers that will fill the southern half of the bubble cabin. See, the greenhouse has got a, a divider that runs down the length of the greenhouse, which makes for two, actually two, north and southern half uh, bubble cavities that can be activated independently of one another to adapt to and react to a variety of climate conditions outside the greenhouse. The bubbles, uh, as they work their way down, the older bubbles get forced down by the newer bubbles, which turn back to solution and get drained down back through our bubble gutters back to our double wall tank that acts also as a heat exchanger. And over here, we have our control shed that's going to house all the uh, programmable logic controllers that will uh, control and automate uh, all the systems, climate control systems, as well as grow systems in the greenhouse. It's also where uh, mo most of the components for our uh, solar uh, photovoltaic uh, uh, power system will, will be housed. Uh, it sits on top of an eight-foot deep hole that we have a double-walled tank inside. And what that does is it, it, it's a place to store the bubble foam solution, but also acts as a heat exchanger because the inner tank is going to have to be kept warm by our solar thermal panel system. And that's essentially the, the heart of our automated integrated growth system in this greenhouse. So not only is this going to be a food production hub, it's also a teaching facility. And there's going to be a lot of university students involved, including myself. I'm with the master's program of environmental studies at York U. We're going to be monitoring and researching the results of all of this technology. To make this all work, we really need, we need a really good power system. The power system is going to cost close to $15,000. In order to have it as sustainable and efficient as possible, with really long-lasting batteries, low environmental impact, and the maximum reduction in greenhouse gases. To do that, we need your support. We can make it the lowest carbon emission off-grid greenhouse anywhere. We will have something that we can offer to other communities and climates and places around the world. Your support can make this possible. It's going to be about $15,000, and we're really hoping that people will step forward and give us the help we need in order to make this model something that people can use everywhere. And we're offering great perks for those who donate uh, different uh, d degrees of generosity. We have uh, discounts to workshops or any other gala events that might be hosted at this wonderful pilot model greenhouse here.
for that subscription membership, you'll have wonderful, fresh, safe, healthy crops and fish to help supplement your diet and make you a healthier person. So your investment will be good for you as well as good for us and good for everybody who ends up benefiting from this technology. We are confident that this Oasis Greenhouse model will provide the answer for many communities in many parts of the world. Anywhere where we need climate control to grow healthy food and fish, this greenhouse model should be the answer to the problems people have in any climate. Your support could actually be very, very important for the food security, not just of this community and of this city, but of the world. So if you want to be one of the first people to get in line and be a part of this wonderful project, we look forward to sharing this beautiful model with you when it's fully up and running. And we have a big party and come out and enjoy it with us. And also, any additional details or information you might be curious about will be available in the text below the video here or on our website at revolutionarygardens.ca. Thanks in advance for all your support.